The box and one is a type of junk defense, which uh, is a combination of man-to-man -man defense and zone defense. Uh, it can't be used as a primary strategy for your uh, defense, but it has a good effect of uh, you know confusing your opponent or maybe uh, diverting their attention into something different so they get thrown off just a little bit. It uses four defenders playing zone defense in a standard box setup, two defenders in the low blocks, two defenders up at the elbows, and the fifth defender is the one playing man-to-man -man defense. So the four guys in the box are playing zone, and the fifth guy is playing man-to-man, -man, and that person's usually going up against the opposition's primary threat or best player or uh, maybe a great ball handler that the, the opposition have that you may want to slow down. This setup allows that slowdown to happen. Let's take a look at two examples from game four. Uh, the Raptors ran these two plays uh, at the start of the fourth quarter in game four, there's Fred. Uh, he is the man-to-man -man guy here. He's guarding Jason Tatum, who is arguably Boston's best player, especially with the ball. And then you have four guys playing zone. Fairly simple setup. On the next possession, the Celtics try something different. They take Jason Tatum off the ball and give it to Marcus Smart. Tatum goes into the low block trying to post up Norm, who is playing a matchup zone. So he kind of is playing half zone, half man-to-man, -man, but mostly man-to-man -man because Jason Tatum is a legitimate threat. And just because he was taken off the ball by the Celtics doesn't mean the Raptors just let him wander around. So this is good, like, on-the-fly adjustment by the Raptors. But as you can see, eventually, they go back into the box and one with Fred uh, being man-to-man -to -man up top again. So it's a slight variation, but the idea is the same. 